family vacations are great, especially if it's to a faraway place where you can try all kinds of delicious new foods, see breathtaking natural wonders, and learn about fascinating cultures. Tokyo is, without a doubt, one of the top destinations you can take your children to for vacation. Tokyo has something for everyone, from the Tokyo Sky Tree to Sensuji Temple and Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. However, Tokyo is not the most child friendly city, owing to the fact that the vast majority of its residents are adults. The country is kind to kids, but not kid friendly, making a family journey to the home of anime a bit difficult. But don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll be going through everything you need to know about planning a trip to the beautiful city, so stay tuned for the complete guide to traveling to Tokyo with kids. If you enjoy videos like this on helpful tips and guides for traveling with kids or pets, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more weekly updates. Let's start. Tokyo is a lovely country made popular by anime, beautiful technology, architecture, gastronomy, and sights. But how much would a trip to Tokyo cost for a family of four? Tokyo is surprisingly affordable, especially for families. This is because kids' tickets are cheaper and hotel rooms can be shared. Many travel guides recommend planning $135 per person per day. So no, Tokyo doesn't cost an arm or a leg, just some change. A family of four may anticipate to spend $3,000 each week, which is cheap compared to Dubai and France. The country is rich in sights and heritage, so you can rest assured you'll receive the finest for cheap. Now that we know how inexpensive it is to visit Japan, the next question would be, when can I go? We recommend a 10-day trip to Japan with your family in the spring, preferably March to May. You can also go in autumn, September through November. Japan is at its most bright and gorgeous during these months. In addition, cherry blossoms and scarlet leaves contribute to Tokyo's splendor when you arrive. The two seasons bring moderate temperatures, making outdoor activities enjoyable. Summer is a great season to visit the city, especially if you wish to hike. We don't recommend summer, though, because the country will be crowded with tourists. It's also hot, so you'll face the elements. Tokyo is beautiful in the winter, but it's too chilly to visit. In September through November, Tokyo is inexpensive. The weather is calmer, and there are fewer people so items are cheaper and your experience is richer. Japan is easily accessible. The city has a few travel restrictions and is accessible from everywhere. This is partly owing to Japan's four busiest international airports, two of which are in Japan, Narita and Haneda. Haneda Airport, which handles more international flights and is closer to the city, is considered Tokyo's major airport while Narita is on the city's outskirts. Thanks to superb transit links, getting from the airport and Japan's other three airports to Tokyo is super easy. Rail is one of the cheapest routes for international visitors to reach the city. You will need a railway pass to ride trains, like the Shinkansen and Bullet Train. Some rail routes may require extra payment, and passes can be purchased online and at various train stations and airports. There are passes for 7, 14, and 21 days, depending on how long you want to remain. The passes are validated on the day you use them and straightforward to use. International ferries run from Tokyo to Russia, China, Taiwan, and South Korea. We recommend flying because the price difference isn't huge and it's faster. Many cruise ships also stop in Tokyo en route to Hong Kong and Shanghai. Tokyo hotels are affordable and offer outstanding luxury and hospitality, staying true to their tradition of not being overpriced. Many visitors have praised the city for offering great hotels at $47 per night. As a family, you can share rooms to save money and strengthen bonds. Here are some locations to stay in Tokyo. Hotel Akihabara. This modern hotel is a minute from Akihabara Station. The hotel rooms are gorgeous and constructed for two, which seems odd considering their large space, and they cost only $47 per night. Via in Tokyo, Oimachi is also very great. The hotel is one JR stop from Shinagawa Station, 
the near Haneda Airport. The two-person rooms are modern and attractive. The hotel charges as little as $57 a night, and we're amazed at how much you get for it. The Pearl Hotel Ryogoku is a hidden gem where you can get wonderful accommodations for two for only $50, one minute from Ryogoku Station, 15 minutes from Tokyo Skytree and Asakusa. We recommend booking beforehand to avoid being stranded and to guarantee your room before traveling. Tokyo is easy to navigate. The country's transportation system is simply excellent. Public transit is usually always on time, which is great because there's so much to see. However, Tokyo's transportation system is pricey compared to others. Using trains to travel is a good place to start. Tokyo's train system is complex, but extremely efficient. The city is proud of its Shinkansen train, which connects Tokyo to other parts of Japan quickly and easily. Known for its lightning-fast speeds, the Shinkansen is essentially Japan's equivalent of the bullet train. With it, you may reach Kyoto in under three hours and return to Tokyo the same day if you choose. A rail pass will make your trips faster and easier. There are different passes for different lengths of stay and types of travel, so read carefully before buying. In addition to bullet trains, Tokyo boasts a vast array of conventional trains, which might be confusing to a newcomer. This railroad has tight schedules and is rarely late, so you won't have to wait long. We advise getting a Suka or a Pasmo IC card. These credit card sized cards are used instead of tickets to board public transportation. They work on all Japan lines. You won't have to decide which ticket to buy, and they can be used in vending machines and some establishments. Tokyo is a crowded city. Therefore, we recommend coming when there are fewer tourists or using private transport. Buses are another alternative. However, they can get crowded. Buses are efficient, affordable, and speedy modes of transport despite the unnerving crowds. Great for city trips, the bus is useful for trips that the subway can't handle, like the trip from Roppongi to Shimbashi. You can also take cabs, but they're pricey, so we recommend them just for groups of four or above. Even if you take a taxi for 100 meters, it will cost 730 yen. After 730, the meter starts counting like crazy and the fare climbs. So save the taxi for emergencies, like missing the last train of the day. Bicycles are the cheapest and most convenient way to travel. Tokyo has a great bike culture. Therefore, it's not hard to find bike rental stores. And as an added bonus, the cycling makes great time for family bonding. But anyways, that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching to the end. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. You can also check out our other video on the top 10 things to do with kids in Tokyo. Until next time, bye!